and try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of the things that they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by the light, it becomes visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Meryl Therner is associated with Bill Johnson's Bethel Church in California, USA, which promotes the Kundalini Hindu yoga demon spirits of India, which began infecting the charismatic Pentecostal cults in North America via the Toronto Blessings Movement, made popular by Todd Bentley and his Lakeland, Florida revival, Jen and Todd's adultery and divorce. The editor of his expose is a personal friend and roommate of Earl. While we attended Bible College in the 1970s and 1980s in Seattle, Washington, which college and church ended in countries, divorces, abortions, and demonic activities, which was falsely attributed to God's love, where others married or not. In that church, Bible College, and in the chapel, and Bible yeah, Training really Center, with Pastor Donald Barnett Church at home. that are absolutely petrified of drawing close to God. Although they say, oh Lord, you know, meet me and draw me close and all this stuff. <clears throat> they don't mean that. Because if they did, they would not be living the life they live sin. And I'm using the word sin. It's no longer just era, but it's sin. All kinds of sin. Hi, I'm Ron Markworth. This is Solutions TV. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I had asked uh, Brother Earl if he would stay and just share what the Holy Spirit's uh, uh, got on his heart. We can just it, already feel the presence of God. And, and I, I know there are people out there, I'm already sensing things in my body physically. This is a supernatural moment. We just want to take time to release kingdom upon you. And uh, I'll, I'll just jump in. But first, I, you know, I just keep getting Off this. Book, right. Kundalini warning. Our false spirits invading the church. The stuff that's been invading in the last, say, 16 to 17 years, I believe it's the worst invasion in church history. So we've got a lot to look at. And my background is I've been involved in the charismatic movement myself for over 25 years. I've been part of the prophetic movement. I was part of that movement for 11 years. So I saw all of this incredibly alarming and disturbing stuff coming in uh, while I was involved. Now the basic question that we're asking in this documentary is why are these manifestations so similar to Eastern religions and Hinduism and the Kundalini cults and yet they're not found in scripture, they're not found in the Bible, they're not found in classical Christianity at all. <laughs> Of course, in Hinduism, one of the most common ways of experiencing a kundalini awakening is through a guru. In a marriage covenant between a man and a woman symbolizes is the spiritual sex that you have continuously in union with Jesus Christ. This is the reality of orgasmic glory that you are literally the bride of Christ. Intimacy is not a religious term for just you know, uh, something I do with my efforts in prayer. Intimacy is you're actually having spiritual intercourse with a spirit being, with a living being called Jesus. Are you hungry, anybody? What are you thinking about? Well, what if you never tasted of Him? Well, what if some of you here, there's some of you that have never tasted of him or are not even hungry at all. You've never tasted of him. You've heard of him. You know about him. These guys are not going to go without the touch of God. I bet you felt something when I said that. Hmm? Did you feel something when I said that? That's, your, that's how the Spirit of God... How far back does it go? Wow, God, just splash, splash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's happening here, Tom? Todd, this is a husband and wife. 
that were healed at the same time tonight. Now, when they, now hold on. You guys were standing down there, and you looked 100% like you were normal down there. <laughs> Until I got them up here on the yeah, stage. Look, these people were not manifesting down here. <laughs> they, they were totally normal. Oh, what is going on? You feel this? Do you feel the anointing up here right now? You feel that power of God? Oh! It's like electricity right now up here. For the first time, the world's craziest comedian. If you come up here for... The day I heard you guys minister the first time was the day I realized that you were heaven sent, history making, ushering into the glory of God kind of musicians. There's no way you can be satisfied where you are. See, that's the problem. That's the problem. We, we, it's, God does do things. God is doing things. But the thing is, if the hunger dies because of the good things he's doing, then you're never going to get the real things he's doing that only he can do like bigger. That's just the way it works. That's just the way it works. That hunger, we had a... We had a Piano play, uh, keyboard play in Tahiti. I, I, he was Tahitian and French, and my nickname for him was Desperate. Desperate. He would say to me, What do you want me to do in worship? He said, I really don't care. Just be, with, just be who you are. He said, What songs do you want me to play? I really don't care. Just be who you are. Because I knew in that culture there had to be an awakening of hunger, there had to be an awakening of the power. Church is going to be the Lord is there, not not this guy or that man, but the Lord is there. When Jesus wanted to begin pouring out a spirit in the book of Acts, it says Acts chapter one, verse one to three. It says he taught him for forty days and forty nights. Being seen by them during forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and being assembled together with them. He commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem. Because I've been addicted to cigarettes for 20 years. She said, since 18 years old, I was addicted. I could not get free from them. She said, I tried, I tried, I tried, I couldn't. People prayed for me. It didn't work. I didn't really even want to stand up there, but I did, and I stood up. She said, my sister was next to me, and you said lay hands on people, and she laid hands on me. And she said, when she laid hands on me, I felt fire rush through my body. And she says, I coughed had a massive taste of nicotine on the outside of my mouth, and she says, I have been completely set free. I have not smoked a cigarette in a year. In this talk that Banning gave, he preached from the text of Scripture precious little. But cultural and world transformation, signs and wonders, worship as experience in and of itself, well, he talked about that a lot. But that's not Christianity. You know, the Word of Faith, Jesus Culture, they talk about fire quite a bit. Now I want you to do a Bible search and put in fire from heaven and see how many times it is in connection with the judgment of God. Here's just a few passages that I found. Genesis 19. Can a nation be saved in a day? Can a country be brought forth in a moment? Isaiah 66, 8. How powerful is a single day? How moving a single moment? Think of the greatest moments of your life. Were these moments centered around you? Or do they serve a greater purpose? Are they designed by love? Not only love for family or friends, but for those who have no food, no home, no love. Have you helped create their moments? These are the moments that shape us. These are the days we think about when we face death. A first smile, a first real embrace. The moment you prayed with a complete stranger and they were delivered from bitterness, from hate, from lust, from alcoholism. The moment you once they thought they could do it their way, as they please, when they please, how they please. That is, the ones who thought they got by when it is not true. For I say it is neither but the God who does hold men accountable for what it is that I desire of them. 
And I say if they will not seek to be ruled by me, that is, to be well pleasing unto me, then it is me that they God who does indeed release the demons upon them. And I say that they will be under the cruelty, the oppression, the captivity, the darkness of this land. I say in the vindication of my wrath that I don't have been God in the year to come, and releasing more and more and more demons upon the land. And I say upon the wayward fools who claim they are my people, I say that the demonization of the same shall increase. For I say they shall grow more and more blinded, because they are steeped in pride. And I say they shall grow more and more distant from the truth, living in lies and loving itself. And I say it is because I have been God's will for itself and proud of it. For I say it is me that have been God who is well able, well able, well able. I say rejoice in me. And I say there are some who are ruled by demons even now who will be invaded by greater and stronger demons. And I say that they themselves will be nothing more than an exhibition of demon power because that is what they are possessed by. But I say that they will not be able to touch the righteous for this need of a God who has a protective barrier over my own. During the truth behind holy hip hop, the five elements and its origin were briefly exposed to your understanding as the transformation of man to God. But I say that the ones who are left uncovered because they refuse to be ruled by me will of course be overwhelmed, overtaken, and devoured by demons. I say this day do not take it as a joking matter, nor a jesting situation that demons shall rule in the land. For I say that I don't have been God and the one causing it to be so, and it will not be a present thing. In the midst of my people Israel, and they shall bear their punishments. The punishment of the prophets and the punishment of the inquirer shall be alike, that the house of Israel may no more go astray from me, nor defile themselves any more with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people and I may be their God, declares the Lord God. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and cast out demons in your name, and do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness.